Do we have a heretical pope? No, I put it in quotes. I see. Uh, you know, I, I to save myself. I, <laughs> um, but uh, well, do you think we have a heretical pope? You know, I think that he is the kind of guy. Um, and this is the best I can give it. Is he knows the boundaries of the faith. He knows the dogmatic bound. He knows Denzinger. The, the lines, but he he sees this need to pastoralize uh, the church to the point where he's going to the he goes he he, he runs and parks his feet mm. right at the boundary and kind of leans. <laughs> so he's not just standing on the edge; he's <laughs> leaning. <laughs> but he sees it as well. We need to lean for the sake of this person and mm. that. That's the best picture I can give. Yeah. So if somebody says, well, wait a minute, are you denying this, this, and that? He could always kind of lean back and say, no, look at where my feet are parked. Technically, I'm in, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in the lines, you know. Um, Which is so unhelpful in a is. pagan age. It is. Well, like, that, uh, it's just terrible. Well, Imagine well, even just the, just happened the other day where he came out and said, don't, don't be harsh with your children if they're experiencing gender dysphoria. It's like, okay. No one would disagree with that, and yet we live in a society where everyone's telling us that this new thing is the is the new secular dogma. We have to all, you know, step in line with. It would be helpful if you would actually say something in that regard, right? Exactly to balance it out. Otherwise, suspicions grow. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know that that's the best thing I could say about you know Pope Francis um, without sitting down and listening to him. You know. Right now, I feel like I can't even, you know, um, uh, you know, by his, you know, it, anything he writes or something, especially in his private capacity, I, I just don't even read it. You know? But in that article, um, you know, I rehearsed the the aggressive claims of Orthodox apologists. Saying, hey, look, look, look at what's going on with Pope Francis and, 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 and look at what you could have here. You know, look at this link versus this clown mass or this and that. Um, but in that article, what I do is I I go through some of the things that you can expect to learn as an Orthodox when you start to go. You know? So if you want to go, go. Okay. But here's some things you're gonna learn and you're gonna have you're gonna have to foresee how you're gonna manage with this. Okay. So I was talking to one guy and he said, Yeah, you know, the the Pope he condemned the death penalty, that's part of the Christian faith, and that's like a clear heresy, and and I have to leave. Okay. Well, where'd you go? Oh, I'm 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 going to OCA. It's you know I'm going to the Orthodox Church of America. Okay. Um, are you aware that the Orthodox Church of America, as a synod, has condemned the death penalty in even stronger terms? Oh, well. Well, well, maybe it. Well, they didn't. We don't have an ex cathedra. We don't have like a, you know, like a, a binding this or that. Like, well, okay, but your synod still says that, right? And you think it's heresy? Well, yeah. Okay, so are you now in communion? Did you go? Did you leave a communion of heretics to join a communion of heretics? Well, no. Well, okay. Well, that, so wait a minute. You got to kind of backpedal here. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.